dear friends good morning all of you are welcome in my youtube channel today's topic is vibratory feeder the vibratory feeder is used for feeding the material into the conveyor belts the, these vibratory feeders are used in industries where number of bunkers are there and below the bunker the feeder is fixed for feeding the material to the conveyor belt. Here the, the internal diagram of vibratory feeder is shown. In this feeder diagram, this is first part E core, this is E core fixing plate, this one is complete body of the feeder, here it is I core, these studs are provided to fix uh, adjust the distance between I core and E core, it is coil. Uh, when here are spring plates these are 8 numbers of spring plate this part is known as yoke this yoke is fixed with the help of center bolt to the spring plates and these spring plates are fixed at the side of vibratory feeder body these side screws uh, bolts are there to tight the spring plates here two side bolts are here and two side bolts are here to uh, tied the spring plates. If in between the spring plates there are spacers or fiber spacers. These are provided to reduce the friction between the spring plates. This one is yoke. Yoke is connected to the I core and here is E core. The coil is given 440 volt half wave rectified supply. When we give supply to the coil, if this core becomes magnetized and it attracts the I core and when negative half cycle comes the magnetism reduces to zero and the I core come back to the original position. So in this way this I core vibrates at the frequency of 50 cycles per second. This is a spin and this is mass. The spin mass, mass vibrating system is here. When this I core vibrates it transmits its vibration to the yoke and with the help of you, this tray is connected. When the cycle vibrates and this yoke vibrates, with the help of this, the tray is vibrated. And above the tray, there is a bulk material. With the vibration of this tray, the bulk material discharges to the conveyor belt. Here, the size of tray is shown is smaller, but its size is 500 mm by 1000 mm, 500 is width of this tray and 1000 is the length of this tray. Here are one spring, here two spring, third spring and four springs. These four springs are provided for the suspension of this vibratory feeder with the help of bunker. In this feeders, some troubles comes during the running. When the feeding of feeder is reduced, so we have to adjust the feeding. Adjustment of feeding is done with the help of adjusting the gap between I core and E core with the help of these studs. Here are four studs, one, two, three and four. So these four studs are there to adjust the gap between I core and E core. So first we have to check whether the gap between E core and I core is correct or not. It should be within 1.5 to 2mm for proper feeding. And in addition to this, sometimes these spring plates broken, so in that case also feeding is less, or sometimes these center bolts are loose, and these center bolts, side bolts are loose, so feeding will become reduced. So increase the feeding of this feeder, we have to tie these side bolts completely, and these side bolts plus these center bolts. Here are um, metal blocks. And here are also metal blocks with the help of these two metal blocks. This uh, spins and yoke is uh, tightly connected to each other. So in this uh, way, uh, the vibratory feeder works how. And uh, in case of when we supply the half wave rectified DC voltage, if diode is uh, defective, then in that case also feeding is less. So in this way, we have to adjust the feeding of vibratory feeder. These feeders are known as electromagnetic vibratory feeders. Main parts are E core, I core and 
this is coil so uh, whenever there is a problem of feeding we have to check the distance between echo and icor means gap between echo and icor uh, spring flats and tightening up these bolts uh, and uh, the supply whether the supply is correctly coming half way or not sometimes this coil becomes short circuited so in that case the fuse of power circuit will blown out so in that case we have to change the coil so in this way uh, this is the particular working of uh, vibratory feeder i think it will be useful to you and if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you very much thank you very much